There's another way of using GCD, and it's worth covering because it's a great deal easier in some specific circumstances. It's called Perform Selector, and it has two interesting variants, Perform Selector in background and Perform Selector on main thread. Both of them work the same way. You pass the name of the method to run, and in background, we'll run it on a background thread, and on main thread, we'll run it on a foreground thread. You don't have to care about how it's organized. GCD takes care of the whole thing for you. If you intend to run a whole method on either a background thread or the main thread, these two are the easiest. For project seven, we can use this to clear up our code a lot. All our closure calls to async will all go away. Let's try it out now. Uh, you can see up here we have this method, uh, view did load, which passes a URL string and so forth, then bounces off to a background thread. What I'm gonna do is I'll take this code out. I'll select all this code here for loading our data. Take it all out into a new method called fetch JSON. And I'll paste it in there. Now this code no longer needs to have this async call in here. That can come out. I'll take all this code back in again. Get rid of the uh, weak self stuff here. That's just gonna be parse JSON instead. It's gonna be show error here, just like we had before. But now I'm gonna call this method using perform selector, which is an objective C call. So this requires at obj C before the name. In view did load, we're gonna say perform selector and then look for the in background variant. This one here, perform selector in background. This uses selector all so we'll day, say hash selector fetch JSON with nil. And that means run the fetch JSON method on the current object, our view controller, in the background. And it'll do that. So all our JSON now happens in the background. All this fetching code here, it's now all on a background thread. But this also means show error runs on a background thread. And that's where perform selector on main thread comes in. We want to say at obj C again, so doing another call to perform selector. And now rather than saying call show error directly, we can say perform selector, and this time look for the main thread version. Boom. And it's gonna be called hash selector show error with an object nil, wait until done, false. So this will run the show error method on our main thread now, which means this code here, dispatch Q main async, we self in and so forth, is no longer required. This is always gonna be on the main thread. I can all come out, get rid of the weak self here. So that makes show error much easier. There's still one problem though. And that's our call to the parse method. It happens up here, we call parse JSON. And if you remember, this is the fetch JSON method that's called in the background, which means parse JSON is called in the background, which means this code down here is also called in the background. And I wanna take this code out and make it work using perform selector instead. So I'll delete that code and instead say table view dot perform selector on main thread hash selector and this time we're passing in UI table view dot reload data. Call that method on our table view, please. With no object attached to it. And wait until done, false. So that will cause the table view to reload its data on the main thread when our load's finished. And now importantly, we can add an extra else statement here, right here after we try and decode our petitions. And this matters because right now we have this if statement here saying, could we decode petitions or not? Great, that's fine, reload the data. But if we can't, there was no place to show errors. And now we can add that with this else statement here. We can say, perform selector on the main thread, hash selector, show error. We fail to decode the petitions from the JSON. With object nil, wait until done, false. So now we're catching errors more accurately in our code. So as you can see, this makes your code easier. So you haven't got to worry about closure capturing. As a result, we'll come back to this again in the future. Don't forget, because perform selector uses this hash selector thing, we have to mark both fetch JSON and show error with the at obj attribute.